When you think of professional wrestlers, you usually think of the larger than life jacked wrestlers like Hulk Hogan, Brock Lesnar, Bobby Lashley, and John Cena. These are the kinds of bodies that would help propel you to superstardom. And in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the craziest WWE body transformation, starting with number 10, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre came into the WWE in the year of 2007 looking pretty thin. His height didn't help, it made him look even thinner. Regardless of this, he still got a decent push until the WWE gave up on him and it looked like he also gave up on himself because he started to gain some weight without muscle while he was in the 3MB faction. His future wasn't looking so great, so the WWE fired him in the year of 2014 and McIntyre went to the independent scene and more importantly, he got in shape. In incredible shape, actually. McIntyre bulked up and gained a ton of muscle. He completely transformed himself. He went from the skinny, awkward dude from the office to looking like an intimidating Viking. The WWE noticed the changes and brought him back where he saw massive success and even became the WWE Champion. It's safe to say that his body transformation played an important role in the success of his character and wrestling career. Number 9, Andrade. Andrade signed with the WWE in 2016, and to be perfectly clear, he was never in bad shape. However, he did not have much muscle. Similar to Drew McIntyre, he was released from WWE. During this time away from the company, he joined AEW and didn't see too much TV time. Therefore, he spent most of his time in the gym, and you can notice because of his body transformation, he recently released this photo where he looks completely ripped. Andrade is in the best shape of his life and even returned to WWE at the Royal Rumble a couple of months ago. I'm sure that his new body is going to help with his presentation and make him seem like a larger than life athlete. He's also been working out with Charlotte and she's also in the best shape of her life. Charlotte and Andrade are the powerlifting couple that you should fear. Number 8, Gunther. Gunther has one of the most impressive body transformations in all of wrestling history. Back in the independent scene, he was a heavy guy with bleach blonde hair. The man looked ridiculous, but I guess we all go through that awkward phase of our lives. Anyways, Gunther eventually signed with the WWE and was a part of the NXT UK brand. During this time, he was still very big. However, it kind of worked with the gimmick of being a dominant chopping beast. This would all change when he did come to NXT in America before joining the WWE roster. He was instructed to lose weight and gain muscle. Gunther didn't just lose weight, he got absolutely shredded. He looks incredible, and I will say he's in the best shape of his life. I even remember some fans online complaining about this, saying that they felt it was unnecessary for him to lose weight and to force him to lose weight, and they also felt like it ruined his character, but I don't see the problem with this at all. He looks amazing. I'm sure he feels even healthier. This was easily the best decision he's ever made. Gunther has now been the IC champion for over 600 days. Number 7, Kaiser. Gunther isn't the only Imperium member who had a complete transformation. It only makes sense that Gunther and Ludwig Kaiser were workout buddies because they both got in great shape. Kaiser was never really too big or anything, but he did work on building muscles and developing abs. This is a picture of him from his NXT days, and this is him nowadays. You can clearly see the difference between these pictures. Again, this is the perfect example of becoming a much more serious threat as a pro wrestler when you work out. The more muscle you gain, the better. I could even see Kaiser go on a nice singles run for himself, and he might even be the one who dethrones Gunther. At the end of the day, we don't know, but his body might give him that extra edge. Number 6, Strowman. Braun Strowman's always been known to be a big man since joining the WWE with the Wyatt family. His large size is one of the reasons why he was pushed into the main event scene only a year after his debut. While he was large, he wasn't in the best shape. That was until a few years later when he started to get ripped out of nowhere. Braun Strowman lost a lot of fat and you could see just how jacked he was. It was an incredible body transformation. Strowman is now one of the biggest dudes in the WWE. WWE, just take a look at some of these pictures. It's really hard to believe that this is the same man as this guy. The difference is astonishing. 
Number five, Triple H. Triple H's bodies had very interesting transformations over the years. Before joining the WWE, this is what his body looked like. As you can see, he had some muscle, but not too much mass. That would change during the Attitude Era, where he got shredded and got in great shape. Then, in the Ruthless Aggression Era, he started to gain some more weight and lost his muscle. But then, in the 2010s, he got a lot more leaner and even gained some muscle. This is probably the best shape he's been in in his entire career. He was lean with a ton of muscle. However, Triple H lost a lot of weight recently and muscle since having his heart attack. He looks a lot smaller nowadays, and that's fine. Honestly, it's, at the end of the day, it's about his health, but it's still impressive how he managed to have some incredible body transformations over the years. Number four, Jinder Mahal. Jinder Mahal's body transformation is probably one of the most impressive ones we've ever seen in the history of the business. Similar to Drew McIntyre, he was released in 2014, and during that time, his body wasn't so great. However, he returned to WWE a few years later, looking like a totally different person. Despite being portrayed as a loser for his entire career, his new look was enough to earn him the WWE Championship. Vince McMahon was really in his bag at this time looking for the next big sweaty man. Number three, AJ Styles. AJ Styles has been in the WWE for the last eight years, and while he's never had an out of shape body, he was always on the heavier side for a person of his size. Then he suffered an injury in the year of 2023, last year, that put him on the shelf. And out of nowhere, the phenomenal one returned as the brolic one. People on social media were surprised to see him looking this buff, and it was a wild transformation. It's even more impressive when you consider the fact that he's almost 47 years old. AJ Styles being in the best shape of his life at this age is really hard to understand. Hopefully this transformation can extend his WWE career. Number two, Michael Cole. This might seem like a strange name to be included in this video because, well, he's a commentator, but I really wanted to put Michael Cole on this list. For a commentator, his body transformation is truly incredible. This man had no reason to get on a diet, lose all his fat, and build all that muscle, but he did because he's Michael freaking Cole. Cole even explained that through diet and working out, he was able to lose 65 pounds in 11 months, completely transforming his appearance. He started out his journey with a body fat percentage of 30%, dropping to just 6.5% at his most lean. It's really crazy to see that he lost 23.5% of body fat in just 11 months. Michael Cole really is that guy. And number one, Randy Orton. The last unbelievable body transformation we need to talk about is Randy Orton. Throughout his entire WWE career, he's been in great shape. However, it was actually after his most recent injury where we saw a totally different Randy Orton. He returned at Survivor Series in Chicago looking absolutely huge and jacked. We have never seen Randy look this big. Orton later revealed that he's actually 275 pounds nowadays because of his bad back throughout his entire career. He explained that he was never able to properly work out as hard as he could. And now that he can after the surgery, he feels no pain and goes completely crazy in that gym. Therefore, he jumped from 225 to 275 and gained a ton of muscle. It's truly one of the most impressive body transformations, especially after a potential career ending injury. Anyways, that is it for the video guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more and I'll see you all in the next video.